Hey, what are you so like that? I let you copy all my songs because you always belong. But when I try to copy back, you always call the song. <laughs> Singapore is a fine, real fine country. Cannot pay all the time, bankrupt all my money. Singapore is a fine, real fine country. Cannot pay all the time, bankrupt all my money. <laughs> fine country came about because uh, you know how Singapore is that uh, we get fined for this and we get fined for that. So we decided to put all the fines together in one song. I mean, when you say fine country and you read the title of the song, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. That's good. That's really tongue in cheek. So what else do you have for us? In Hawaii, right, there's Aloha. In Samoa, it's Talofa. Singapore is Halola. Halola. You know, because La is such a popular word, right? Uh -huh. And it's also an expression that we use so often. One, two, three, four. I love to eat rich spicy food. Curry fish head we can share. But the gravy got my expensive shirt But my friends told me don't swear Cause it's, it's okay la 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 Wow, okay, okay, wool come from sheep, yeah? It's okay la I take umbrage it's okay, la. What's sovereign, la? It's okay, la. I carry the latest handphone and I drive a red sports car. Why did you guys decide to write an album that included songs with Singlish? Singlish transcends every social economic strata of society. Whether you're rich, you're poor, uh, you're this or you're that, you're young, you're old. Uh, Singlish just cuts through and it doesn't have to be an uh, elitist thing. Everybody can actually get into the language that is common and agnostic against every part of uh, Singapore society. It's a way to connect, right? It's a way to bond. The fact that we could represent the different facets of Singapore mm. society. We had a song that spoke about uh, Kiasuism, which is afraid to lose out. Kiasu King is one of them. Is sometimes quite confusing. Computerology was because of Singapore digitalization, and that was really, really way back before the real digitalization came about. We had one called Sophisticated Baby, which was uh, Abing's mispronouncing designer label brands, for example. <laughs> yeah, exactly. and, uh, yeah. It's okay, la, actually wrapped it all up with that, you know, whatever it is, it's okay, la, because we are that kind of country. You know, we, right. we learn through the the good times, the bad times, but, but whatever it is, it's okay lah. I am the king of fashion, my taste is exquisite. All over Singapore nation, I think I'm quite a... When your first album was about to drop, were you anxious? It was a fun and album, I mean we had a lot of fun. Yeah, album. we didn't think that, oh, people are going to... Yeah, 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 there was no reservation. I guess eventually when we were told that it sold 10,000, we were obviously very encouraged. To yeah. The people on the <laughs> ground were actually <laughs> coming up with their own money to, to, to buy the album. Very surprising. But then again, how can you not like a local album? Because if you're Singaporean, this is what you... We try to reflect. <laughs> Still got you know. <laughs> I told you I can't sue. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kamsa.